You're going to talk uh, to one of, he says, he's got the best jumper on TikTok. <laughs> yeah, all right. Let's find out, right? Listen, you can find him all over the place. Carolyn and Esther, good to have you too, man. Um, Seth Digman, wow, props to you. Miss you, young man. Um, listen, th this is this is a PK. This kid grew up with it. He is uh, going to join us shortly. His name is Braxton Piku. And uh, Braxton, just send me a little uh, invite, and I'll have you up on, on here in just a moment. Um, what we're going to do is just spend about 30 minutes with this guy. Uh, we're going to talk about how to use your gift. Braxton, okay. put it up, too. <laughs> He's going to be good. He's going to be on in just a sec, man. And, but what we're doing tonight is a little different because uh, all of you have different gifts, man, that you use. Uh, some of you are academics. Some of you are athletes. Some of you are alternatives and artisans, right? It's like your, your gift is music and mixing. And, and some of you, it's, it's, uh, it's art, okay? That's what it is. You're an artist. Maybe you're an athlete. All kinds of athletes are going to join us tonight. And listen, there, here's another one. Some of you are alternatives and maybe you don't even feel like you fit. Let me tell you something, everybody fits. And what I love about Braxton and what we're gonna talk about here is, and as his followers are joining us too, man, listen, we're gonna talk about the thing that God has given you that you could be great at, right? It's that gift. How do I use my gift? And some of you are thinking, man, I'm not like Rats and I don't, I don't have a TikTok jump. I'm not the best jump shooter on TikTok. <laughs> uh, listen, you may not be, but what do you do, right? What do you have? And so I've known this young man a long time. Braxton, I, I remember, and maybe you could take Wait, us man. back. <laughs> yeah, I remember when you were first starting this out, out with this, you know, and you're like, you know. I remember you said to me, I don't even know if this is gonna work. I know. I, it, it was. It yeah. No, the start of COVID. I was like, well, what? The, first off, what's up, everybody? Yes. Welcome to the live. Cool. I was uh, was hearing everything, y'all. But what's up, everybody? Make sure you type some questions in the chat. I think I'm gonna answer some questions at the end. So make sure if you got anything, I'll try to remember things that I yep. see that stick out. But uh, good to see everybody. Um, to all my people in here, this is Jeff Jeff Grinnell. This is actually the pastor that um, helped me have my revelation moment my sophomore year of high school. I went to one of his youth retreats. And um, honestly, my life has never been the same since. So, and we stayed in contact then, so I thought it would be cool if we could go live. He does this live stream every Sunday. So for my people, now y'all know what's up, y'all know what's happening. So we're just gonna talk a little bit. Um, yes. But yeah, no, I, I remember, I, I remember, you know, because I train to do basketball, and then COVID happens, I can't do nothing no more. I don't know what to do with myself. So I know I I've always felt like you know God had a calling for me to do something you know in social media or just something something different, something outside the box. And I remember I, I was posting like five times a day. Right. I had, had six hundred followers at the time across everything, and I just I started posting you know every day, and nothing was happening. And I just remember I was at a point where I was like. You know, I don't even know if this is going to work. Like, people are just laughing. <laughs> people are just, you know, making fun of it, making jokes. And I remember Pastor Taylor, which is uh, another guy who we'll mentored. Oh, he's yeah. on next week. Oh. Pastor Taylor's with us oh, next there week. You go. Grand Rapids, Michigan. One of the great yeah. next gen leaders in yep. this country. Yeah. So, Pastor Taylor's one of the mentors in my armor. We went sit down. We had a meeting. He's like, bro, you still trying to do this social media thing? And I was like, I got one more idea, and if that if that doesn't work, I'm gonna quit. Right. And that was the best shooter on TikTok idea. And then once I did that, it, it hey, if, so, if you haven't seen him, if you haven't seen him yet, man, it's you know Braxton Piku on the gram. It just go to best shooter on TikTok. He's mm -hmm. gonna show up, okay? Because mm -hmm. there's like what is it, five, four hundred and whatever thousand followers, or yep. uh, no, More that's IG on Instagram. Yeah, there's yep. even more. And then That's YouTube it. has come yeah. alive. The YouTube yeah, yeah. is sick. I've you know, hit 800. Yeah. Might hit 800 this week. So that's a blessing. That's, yeah, that's not 800. That's 800. Yeah, 800. Yeah. <laughs> Coming that's from the mail. That's, that's the, the goal. 800. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, it's so. a little guy. So, uh, hey, show off that chair you're in, dude. I'm, I'm digging that oh, chair. Oh, I got the racing gaming chair. This is my gaming setup. So at night when I need to chill out, you know, a long day of whatever. Hey, Cody, up, so. Cody just said he had a game winning buzzer beater this week. So, Let's go, congrats, Cody. Cody. Congrats, congrats, brother. 
keep yes, shooting, man. Keep shooting. Because keep, listen, shoot with confidence too. Oh my gosh! Listen, this is what I found. My favorite shot is my next one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it ain't at the elbow. It ain't in the corner. It ain't. Yeah. A, it's my that next. That was me one. today, man. I uh, so I mean, I tore my LCL, so I haven't been playing basketball for mm. what eight months. Yeah. Not, yeah, about eight months. I haven't played basketball, and I just started up started on a men's league team two weeks ago. So last Sunday was my first week. This was my second week today, and I did not start off good. I missed like five or six shots right from the beginning. But hey, I kept shooting, and I ended the game with twenty points. So you know, sometimes you just gotta miss those two or three. I love. You gotta get them out the way, and then you just keep going. And I'm loving all the followers right now who are saying things like, "Man." Uh, I just got baptized. Somebody just said that they just got uh -huh. baptized, and because of you, they're they're watching you. They're following your faith. Look at if you saw it right across the chest, powered <laughs> by Jesus. Yeah, I love yeah. it. Well. This is, and you know this what? Brand. Yeah, man. And, uh, hey, please again. This is Braxton Piku, best shooter on TikTok. Follow him all over the all over the uh, footprints, man. You can find him on the socials anywhere. But what we're gonna do? I want to talk for the mm -hmm. next just couple of minutes mm -hmm. about. Mm -hmm about the gift that, yep. that you you decided to run with it right i mean mm -hmm. when i think about uh the students that i work with all across this country and they come to me and they, they don't feel valuable and they yeah. don't yeah. feel like what uh, like somebody else it's that comparison yeah. kills yeah. man yeah. right yeah. Comparison yeah. Kills. um how did you just decide you know what i can do i can play I, i'm going to yeah. use this as long as i can and then all of a sudden it takes off. Talk, take us back to the decision making mm -hmm. and what it was like to say, you know what? Okay, my dad's a pastor mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. I could go off and do this. I can get mm -hmm. good grades or whatever, but I'm going to roll with yeah. what God gave me. Talk about yeah, that. Yeah. I, I think for me, it was just like, you know, I, I, I know a lot of kids are stuck in this time too, like the high, end of high school kind of kid you know whatever um i don't know what chat did your chat stop did my what stop did your chat stop moving when you're uh -uh. huh my chat stopped moving anyway um so yeah no i think a lot of kids get stuck in this like i don't know what to do phase and i think i was kind of in that phase and the only thing that i you know really did was i went to church every week um you know hung out with friends and then played basketball those are like the only three things that i really did in my life and I was going to go, you know, to college and play basketball. That was kind of always the goal, but I didn't know what I wanted to do with it. You know, uh, I knew I was called to ministry in some way, shape, and form. That was kind of the sophomore camp that I called you, but I didn't know what. God didn't say, like, hey, you're yeah. going to be a pastor at X church, at X thing. And I think a lot of kids get stuck on, um, you know, like, oh, I'm waiting for God to tell me exactly what I got to do, exactly this, exactly that. Um, you know what God showed me? He showed me that I like to watch YouTube a lot and spend a lot of hours watching content. Good. And he, you know, uh, I feel like I always had a good relationship with the Lord. My parents taught me well at a young age that it's a relationship. And um, I don't know. So I just kind of I love started it. running with it. I'm like, I love basketball. I love um, content. I, I, I love consuming it. I love making it. Um, and I love... And I love the word, and I love being yes. at church. And, so. and think about this, Braxton. I don't know if you're seeing mm -hmm. this, but what you just said is how God is using you. Another mm -hmm. young man mm -hmm. just said, I watched your video, mm -hmm. and I prayed to God and accepted him as my Lord and Savior. That's awesome. Off a of video. You never, never met this kid. Yeah. Right? Yeah. He, he wasn't at the Macker playing yeah. in a three-on-three, yeah. three no. and you signed his shoe. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no. you know? and, and that's and honestly, from a Christian perspective and in influencing – um, my approach, because, like, I want people to know I'm a Christian. Like, I don't want it to ever be a shock to anyone that I'm a Christian. But at the same time, like, this is something that I've thought very carefully about yes. throughout my career. I I wanted to show kids that, that you can do what you love as far as influence. You can make things that people want to watch. You can make things that you want to make, the, the sport you love and stuff. Good. But you can do it the right way. You don't have to be flooded out in chains swearing and everything you don't have to be right. you know using provocative music or anything like that like you don't you don't have to but you can still do what you want to do i like i've been able to build this following and i'm sure a lot of people want to have a following and you can do it and you don't have to do it the way of the world though. yep 
And, um, you know, that was one thing, like, when I signed with Underdog, uh, the clothing brand that's empowered by Jesus. This one says audience of one. Um, but, uh-huh. like, when I signed with them, that was, like, that was kind of, like, my way of, you know, I'm like, okay, I don't have to necessarily preach in everything I post. Right. Because um, a lot of kids that don't know about God are just going to swipe. Oh, this is boring. Sure. Um, but it's a way that I can, like, show, hey, there is something bigger. And then through the clothing and through all that, it's opened up yes. so many questions, like the thing that you were saying, so many DMs, so many, when kids come up to me in public, hey, I see your shirt, are you a Christian? What is that, what, what is that all about? Um, and it's really opened up a lot of doors, so. Yeah. I love that. You know what, let's take a little, let's, let's take a little side note here. Mm-hmm. I want you to give us, uh, give, give the followers here. People are gonna come back, and are gonna watch this. All, got, all they gotta do is go to your channel. If they just go to my, uh, um, Instagram, they can just go to the link tree and they can watch this uh, on YouTube. It'll be on my YouTube too. So they can look this up. Give us a shooting tip. Give me something. Uh, shooting that tip. Yeah, our athletes are looking at, yeah. man. You know, yeah. one shooting tip maybe that's newer to you that'll take their game so they can be the best yeah. uh, shooter yeah. in their gym. I- I, honestly, the the older I get and the more I play basketball and stuff, I just 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 be confident. And then honestly, um, just shoot like just be relaxed when you play. I feel like a lot of kids. I mean, the naturally like you know top players they do a very good job of this, but they have just kind of like a nonchalant flow to them. Even though they're like they're super locked in, they're super technical, like whatever it is. But there is that like swagger of like yeah. you know like uh too many kids get mad when they miss one shot kind of like we were talking about at the beginning they miss two shots and they're cussing and mad and, and you know all the world's gonna end like you know like just like be locked in be nonchalant if you miss two shots in a row right. it doesn't matter shoot the third one yeah and the, the third one the, I, yep and all it takes seeing one go in. If you see one go in, yeah. you're, you're good. Yeah, you, can, you, can, you can build the rhythm off of and it. And there's so that's the simplest tip that can go to everybody. There, there's so much more to the game, man. Mm-hmm. They don't mm-hmm. just keep scoring stats. Like every time I, I ask a kid, I, I've coached, I coach at the NCAA level, mm-hmm. I coach in high school, AAU. Mm-hmm. Every time I ask a kid how the game go, how'd you do, man? I only got five. I only scored mm-hmm. it in sixteen, whatever. I'm like, hold it, hold it, hold it. Is that the only category we're talking about? Yeah. How many defensive stops you get? How many assists you get? How many rebounds you get? Right? Exactly. So I, I, I feel like that's just a great way to start with it. Mm. Confidence. Mm. You know, I, what I tell kids, and, yeah. and I know you know this because mm. you have been playing a long time. Yeah. Um, I tell kids all, all the time, you, you got to be the best you. Yeah. And yeah. don't try to be the, nobody else. That comparison yeah. kills, yeah. man. And I'm telling you, there are guys that want to be uh, somebody else, and they're forgetting how good they are at what they could do. Isn't that just in life, though, like just comparing yourself just to, you know, and that was, uh, you kind of asked me that question earlier. I don't think I really touched on that area, but like, you know, so many people stop themselves from what they're supposed to do because they're comparing it to someone else. And, you know, I thought the more followers I got at the beginning, I thought, you know, the more money I make, the more this, the more that, the less I would compare myself. Because it's like, oh, I'm doing these things now. But honestly, it's a more, it's a trap. Like, if you don't teach yourself that from the beginning, just to stay in what God's called you to do, to stay in your lane, and, you know, and focus on your purpose. Because if you focus on these outside things, there's always someone doing better than you at the end of the day, if you're looking at those things. But if you're walking in your purpose, like, then, you know, nothing's going to stop you. asking about faith and Christianity and purpose um, and stuff. And I, one thing, if you guys are in here and y'all are kind of uh, wondering, you know, what, where's my place in this world? Um, what am I supposed to do? Honestly, follow Pastor Jeff. Um, I know I was in that spot for a long time. And I know, you know, through the words that God had given him um, and he shared them in the small ministry that I was in and I got to experience god in a way i never did before so definitely follow his page watch the live streams um if you're looking yeah. for that because i honestly god can meet you anywhere god can meet you in your bedroom god can meet yes. you when you're hanging out with your friends while you're doing something maybe you're not even supposed to you don't never know god god can meet you anywhere so but it yeah never, it, it always, yes thank you that's that's good and and i think every 
every, everybody has somebody. I like to say it this way. Mm -hmm. Everybody mm -hmm. has somebody they can lean on. Yep. And you might be thinking, man, uh, not me. Mm -hmm. you, listen, if you send us a DM, uh, it, it might be, it might take time for Braxton to get it and his people to get it to yeah. you. But if you send a DM to this guy right here, I'll get you in 24 hours. Yeah. Okay. That's why we do this stuff. And uh, th listen, every Sunday night we're here. Uh, normally we're here 9 p.m. Central. Yeah. But we had to come on a little early because Braxton has some a little confusion. On West Coast. <laughs> it's all right, man. And and uh, so we're gonna end this way. I I, I want I want you to tell this this crowd what what was it that brought you deeper in your faith. You know, mm -hmm. we can we can. You're a PK. You've been raising this. Mm -hmm. So, you know, was it having the right people around you? Mm -hmm. Was it getting a mentor? Was it reading the Bible more? Was it humility? Mm -hmm. Did you have to learn some things? And, that, you know, uh, talk, talk about that. What brought, yeah, what yeah. got you deeper in your faith? Um, for me, I think it was like fully stepping in my purpose. Because I feel like when I fully stepped in, I started realizing if I didn't get deeper in my faith and if I didn't, put God first, it wasn't gonna, it, it wasn't gonna happen, you know, so I think, uh, you know, I, I, God told me what my purpose was, and, you know, I've been walking it out, but if I didn't do it through him, I wouldn't be where I wanted to be, and I wouldn't be where I'm called to be, so, um, and that's even, like, what I was saying with, you know, uh, with the, you know, little things like this, um, just doing it with purpose vision instead of doing it with my vision, um, right. And I think that's really what kind of made me, okay, I need to be serious. And then also finding a godly woman. <laughs> when I found a godly woman to help me stay on track, too, um, that that also helped me, too. And so, is she yeah, on? I to, uh, is she, 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 she Huh? Is she I don't know. If she, no, she actually doesn't have Instagram, so she won't be joining us from here. But, uh, but no, yeah, no, but no, uh, I would say that. Once I stepped into my purpose fully, I think it just really... Um, yeah, made me lock in because uh, I realized you know how important it is, and also too once you get eyes on you, and you know about you know you know what God's purpose is on you, and if you're not doing it, it's like oh my gosh, I'm letting all these people down from the true and but what's really important if I'm not if I'm not on my A game, all these people I'm letting down because yeah, that's good. Yeah. Good. We just had another comment of someone that came across and said. I've been watching you for over a year, and every time I see you, I'm inspired. And I'm awesome. telling you, this is why we're talking about this concept tonight of using your gift, okay? Yeah. Using your, listen, um, there, there are people watching that are athletes that maybe you can't shoot, but you can rebound, right? <laughs> using your gift. Don't, don't evaluate yourself yeah. by somebody else's yeah. gift. There's some of you that are watching that you can't sing, but you can play an instrument. Mm -hmm. And there are people watching who can play an instrument but they can't sing what you've yeah. got to do and braxton said it earlier you got to focus on what you do well and don't worry about everybody else do you stay in your lane 100%. stay in your lane